Hey there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I always do appreciate it. Well, this is it. This is episode um, nine of the Bro Acres Pumpkin Palooza, and this is going to be the last time lapsed episode here. Uh, we're going to pretty much call it here. I'm recording this on Monday, the 29th of October. And I don't see myself getting much more done in the next day or two, so I'm going to spend tomorrow filming a cinematic video and getting it workshop ready so you could check it out. Um, I'm pretty pleased with how much I was able to get done in uh, less than a month. What is this, three weeks? Three and a half weeks? That's pretty good. I, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty proud of myself here. <laughs> Uh, you can see we are building a bounce house. We're building a bounce house. It was going to be a bounce castle, but then I decided to make it a little more um, Halloween-y. Hey, big, big thanks to all of you guys in the comments from the last episode. All of your fantastic suggestions. Lots and lots of great ideas. I really, really do wish I could have... I wish I could have done them all. I really, really do. Um... It's just not enough room and not enough time. Uh, but all those, I, all the ideas you gave, 98% um, of the ideas you guys gave were fantastic, and uh, I am very appreciative of your, of your for, your for your input. And you'll see, I did do a few. I tried to do a, a few of the big things people had in mind. The bounce house. They, some said bounce pillows, or I, I don't know. But these, this was one of the biggest requested items, actually. Uh, it felt like it, at least. So, putting one in. Um, I was really worried it was going to be ridiculously hard, but it wasn't nearly as bad as I originally thought. Uh, I think it came together pretty well. I actually searched on the workshop, and there's a whole bunch on the workshop. Um, I didn't use any of them. I, I just kind of looked at how they did it in the, in the workshop, and then I went and I made my own. Found a picture I liked. And kind of improvised, well, not really improvised, but copied what I saw and a little bit of tweaks here and there to fit Planko better. So I thought it'd be cute instead of the little castle things to make them pumpkins. So we make the pumpkins on top because that's just totes of orbs. So, <laughs> but yeah, so this is it. Um, this is totally different, a totally different way to handle playing Planet Coaster on my channel than I've ever done before. Uh, where I say when I'm going to be done with it. It, it's weird to have a date to define when a project is done rather than a, um, like, when the park is filled. It's it's different, and I don't know. I think I like it, but at the same time, like, I don't want to get into the habit of slacking off as a, as a strong word. I don't think I slacked off for this project, because I, I didn't. I, I really enjoy everything I did, and I think it's nice. But, um... I don't know. Like, I want to get back into Conifer Slopes. I, I know I always say that. I, 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 the way I feel like Conifer Slopes is going to be a, a hit or miss here and there kind of thing. Um, but, like, I really enjoyed knowing when I was going to be done with this. To not have it hanging over my head um, constantly was, was really nice. And to be able to say, okay, we are done. You should not expect any more of this project from me. Uh, to, I don't say that very often. And so it was nice to be able to say that. So uh, you can expect me to do at least this again for Christmas. Uh, we're going to do some kind of winter holiday Christmas thing. I'm not 110% sure what we're going to do. I have a couple ideas rolling around in my head. Um, by the way, what we're making here on the screen is we're actually doing a, a pump, an air pump, to inflate the inflatable. And then it dawned on me, how am I going to... Um, well, how the hell am I going to... Um, power this so then after we build this pump it's a it's a it's into the workshop and on to bro nation to ask all about how we would do these things people had mentioned generators for the rides and i had no idea what those would actually look like so uh hopped on the bro nation people uh bro nation server where there are far more people smarter than i am who know way more than i do about everything and uh, politely asked and got some really good feedback and was able to find some excellent workshop items. One of them, they're both of the ones I use in a little bit, are both members of Bro Nation as my phone goes off. My humblest of apologies. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so anyway, back to the Christmas idea. There will be a Christmas project. I don't know when it's going to start. Um, I think I might try to pre-record a whole bunch of it and then have them ready to go for like between Thanksgiving and Christmas. That would probably be the ideal thing to do. 
Uh, I always travel for the holidays. We visit uh, either my wife's family or my family, and they're both up north. So I won't be near my computer for a good chunk of the time right around Christmas, so I'll have to figure something out. So, But yeah, you can expect a project kind of like this, uh, something offbeat, different, unique, um, not theme parky for Christmas, and then we'll see where we go in the new year. I really don't know. So what we're doing here, actually, is I want to let you know what's going on. We are making a... Um, PVC slide. Somebody in the comments in the last video actually linked me to a picture, and it was actually the black corrugated piping as slides, but I've seen PVC pipe, giant PVC pipe like this, cut in half and made into a slide. So we go that route with it, and that's what we're doing here. So we are building just a real simple slide, and we're going to encase it in a dirt mound, and um, it, it wasn't the hardest thing to do, but it was kind of tedious. Uh, the terrain tools can be great, and they can also be really, really frustrating when, when you know what you want to do, but you just can't make it do it. I tried low intensity, low footprint, high intensity, low footprint, low intensity, you know, I tried all the different combinations, and it just, I got close. I got pretty close to, to what I wanted, but uh, it, it, it took a lot of trial and error with the terrain tools. And so my story for me is going to be that they built this several seasons ago. They made a big dirt mound, and they put these slides in, and that's that. And over the years, uh, nature has started to reclaim the hillside. So that's why you, it will be pretty lush compared to the stuff around it. I figured they wouldn't touch it. Like, they would just clean up the slide area and let it be. And so that's what, uh, that's what you can expect here with this as we try to make this mound look realistic but man-made at the same time if that makes any sense at all so but yeah you'll see we keep smoothing and then kind of accidentally refilling the slides and just trying to find something that works well is is, is a challenge so but yeah uh, so for hopefully on halloween there'll be a video and a workshop release for this project and feel free to take a look at it and if you see something you like that you want to use in your parks as always it's if it's on the workshop it's free for you to use all i ask is that you don't claim it as your own and that you give credit where credit is due if you uh, are so inclined to use something in one of your projects especially if you're going to put it on youtube or something like that um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure that i link as quote required items all the uh, workshop items that i've used and i've used several in this um series more than i normally do uh and and I've, I've really appreciated the workshop for this project this is the kind of project where i really needed the workshop um so many great things are being made on the regular and so it's been nice to kind of highlight a few pieces here and there by other amazing builders um, some of which you may have heard of and some of which you may not have so that's kind of neat to, to do and hopefully we'll continue that in future projects so i had this i don't know if i mentioned this but i had this crazy idea for like a like i want like a maybe two or three part thanksgiving thing <laughs> where I make a, a Macy's Day float. That was kind of my idea. And and I'm gonna play with it. And we'll see if anything comes of it. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, it depends if I can get something that looks good enough. So uh, yeah, we added this little fence to kind of go up to the top of the ramp. And, and someone said it looks a little over the top. I kind of like it. I think I'm gonna keep it just because it clearly defines where people are supposed to walk, which is kind of hard to do when you're not actually using paths or anything. So uh, in my reference image, they had a bunch of stones placed at the bottom, I guess, to keep the slides in place. And that was a neat little detail that I went ahead and threw in there. So, and then I realized I needed to extend the straight portion of the slide a little bit. So we go ahead and we do that and bring the rocks out and that's that. And and you put pretty much the done stamp on this one. So uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much another little attraction down. I'm really glad I got this in. Uh, this is quintessential family farm jank you know uh quote attraction uh some in the comments wanted to see pony rides i really wanted to do pony rides but the con the idea of making a pony that doesn't look <laughs> all right let's be honest those pigs look goofy as all get out but they're little pigs so it's cute doing the same thing for pony rides i can't imagine that turning out well um so anyway trying to it took me a while to figure out where i wanted that tilt-a-whirl flat i really had no clue there's the generator that's one of the first generators 
And I'm almost positive that it's by Duct Tape Forum, uh, a member of Bro Nation. And uh, he was one of the guys that competed in our uh, summer competition. This he So he has a trailer generator. It's incredible. It's really awesome. There is a link to it in the description. And if you have a fair park, I encourage you to use it. So I have no idea if this is realistic or not, but I love the way it looks. And I love these yellow, like, berry protections. So we throw them in, and I think it just totally amps up the the jank factor in a really positive way. So I'm, I'm really excited for it. So what we do is we make sure that we have generators near all the rides. Um, apparently, two to three flat rides can hook up to one of these. Um, I got some apples off the workshop, some apple carts. Uh, cute little idea. I, I mean, I could have made them, but I, why make them when someone else has already done it for you, you know? So apple cart. We were going to try to squeeze in an orchard, um, but I decided against it. It just... it. it it wasn't big enough to be a convincing attraction, and it, it was too, it kind of cluttered everything up. Because if I was going to do an orchard, I was going to do the cider press and a, and, a, and a cider bar. But I couldn't get it... I, by the time I got everything else that I wanted in in the episode, it, there just wasn't enough room. And I'm okay with leaving a bunch of open space in the back there. Because um, like the one we go to here in Houston, there's just so many open parts of the farm that have nothing built on them and you can walk by them if you want but there's nothing to do over there so we'll go with that we're just going to leave it they, they have it there and it doesn't do anything but it doesn't hurt anything either so yeah and just doing real simple cue work here so that you don't you know so that it doesn't look bald and completely bare and all that uh swapped out those benches for picnic tables i think that looks a lot better actually than the benches a little bit more foliage here and there and uh, yeah, the, like once we get to this point, it's like, all right, well, let's start putting yield done stamp. Once I put the tilt a whirl where I wanted, I had to find a place for the bouncy house, and I actually ended up putting it over by the main food area near the front. I figured that would be a good thing. You can let the kids go bounce around after before they've eaten, or you could sit there and eat while your kids go and bounce around. Um, we went to a trick or treat activity at a local church here. It's a trunk or treat where you go and you walk to the, the people of the church. They you know, decorate their cars and you get candy from them. And they had some bounce houses and free food. It was a little festival. And we had to wait in line like 10 minutes to go on a stupid bouncy activity, a bouncy house. It was ridiculous. So able to squeeze in another trailer here for the for this flat near the entrance. Had to move some trees to do it, but it's okay. And then the final one back here by the Coriolis by Tarantula. And that's it. All the rides are hooked up. I was going to do little generators for all the shops, but... My thought is, if these are permanent structures, they've probably got permanent, maybe they have permanent hookups, maybe, we'll go with that. Like they ran the cables in and they've got hookups, yeah, we'll go with that. And then this is going to be kind of a backstage area, quasi, like all these farms, like it's a, it's sort of a backstage area. Like again, you could probably make your way back there if you really wanted to, but why would you want to? Because there's nothing back there. So that's kind of what we have cooking here as a way to kind of show how they might have gotten... Um, all the pieces out into the fields that they needed, the generators and such what, and like where you where they'd go to cart the pumpkins and all that. So finishing up some terrain details to actually complete our tire tracks for our tractors. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be near the end of the episode here. We Oh no, 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 I got to build one more thing. I forgot. I built one more thing. Trying here to get rid of as many of the little nubbies as I can, as get rid of as many stumps. Had this open area. I thought I'd try and squeeze a shop in here, but I actually didn't like it over here. Big props to oh I can't to to, to a commenter. Uh, we need a fudge shop. It's not a bro park without a fudge shop. So we're gonna make Kbot fudge, and it almost looks like K hot fudge, which I think is awesome. So this is a, a, a nod to Bro Nation, to to No Name Landia and Kinderly and all that. The fudge, the lore of the fudge, it continues. So <laughs> But I love it. I uh, tried a couple different styles before I settled on one. I didn't want to completely rip off what I already had. I didn't want to like directly copy. In fact, I gave it a, a consideration to directly copy. You'll see me try that, and I decide against it. Like This was what I was going to go with, just this really dinky little that, but I was like, I don't like that at all. So I thought maybe we'll go with the one by one, but then I'm like, well, I don't want to redo all of it so we do end up with a one by one with uh this crazy art i love this um roof and i don't get to use it very much so i thought a candy shop might be you know it's kind of whimsical it kind of work but then it was so out of scale with itself i had to add a little extension to it so this might not be the most realistic build but i just 
I really wanted to use that roof building. And it's a little obtrusive and a little intense, but I I kind of like it. Hopefully you don't think it's the, the worstest thing ever. So uh, this building will be the last building that we make in the park here. Uh, difficulty with colors here. Those roofs are ugly, ugly, ugly. Good thing I fix them. <laughs> Do not like those roofs. I love this kind of lavender wall, though. Like, for a fudge shop, I think it's perfect. Um, not going to make any custom logos for this park, as you can tell. Uh... I do want to make an actual brand, uh, a Kinderbot fudge brand. I mean, we have a couple of uh, fictitious brands in the Bro Parks already. Mind Gluten, stuff like that. I'd like to make a Kinderbot one with a custom logo and all that. I'll have to get on it. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do a couple more dedication buildings um, before another big an, another mini project or big project. I have no idea what's going to happen next, like where we're going to go from here. I really I don't know. Um, maybe there'll be some other non-Planet Coaster things on the channel, but to be honest, I, I like the channel being mostly Planet Coaster. I don't know what's going to come next. There might be a sudden drop-off in content. There might not be. I, 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 I do know. So, anyway, that's just about going to do it for the final time-lapse episode of Bro Acres. I hope you've enjoyed this mini-series, and uh, like I said in the... Care, everyone. Bye-bye.